What up, YouTube? I just want to say this is the part two of Honk Our Star World 2.1. The previous video, apparently the video didn't code the whole thing, so that's why it wasn't happening altogether. It was just only showed part one. So uh, this is the second half, for sure. I'm sorry for the confusion. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this uh, long video. And again, um, just skip the parts if you want to go ahead and see what's... um what the twists and turns are for the end of 2.1 because there's a lot of twists out there or just any other moment honestly uh because this is just like a live stream i uh plucked in there but uh yeah have a good one and uh enjoy the video there was a man from my homeland who at a time mm. when the world was grappling with well dwarf unhealable pain made oh, we'll do the giveaway a after choice. this he wove together the dreams of everyone in the world linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. And yet, you stand here right now, which also means that man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's mm. trailblazing spirit. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. Oh yeah, there it is. <sighs> Uh, the universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds, and these worlds are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. Yup. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told it overlaps with my past. And within that abyssal dream, I ended that man's life alone. Hmm. <sighs> I am not who you think I am, nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Yeah, what power? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens. 
piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Black hole. It said that in the subtitles. And why, exactly? Do we even walk towards the light? Oh, come on. Josh. Oh, there's so much going through. I swear you guys, after this cutscene, if I can move or something, I will I will do a giveaway, I swear. I'm so sorry. But also, this is really interesting. I don't mind, honestly. Long time no see. Having fun on Pentacone? Acheron? Who is that? This voice. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Oh, the other? Okay. Though I don't know exactly what you are, or what you're up to, my bullets will find you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Pentacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you, imposter. Imposter? Imposter? I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Who are you? Uh huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? Nothing really. We've, uh, I think one of the, um, the Annihilation Gang is like calling her, apparently. <laughs> are you but no, nothing me else. Write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? It's true. <sighs> She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? This is Boo Hill. Oh my god, the rounds? Like cowboy? It's Boo Hill. We're talking to Boo Hill now. Oh my god. What the hell? Yeah, that's Boo Hill. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of Eyes luck. Emoji. Yeah, that was good. Is, I like him. <sighs> well, <laughs> I'll be on Pentacone soon. Uh, memo Keeper. Go buy a bottle of his Donna's White Oak and warm it up, and I'll raise a glass to you. That lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not exist. <laughs> Yeah, it seems everyone has background. It's true. Oh, man. Damn. Okay. Okay. Oh, now we're back to adventure in here. All right. <laughs> you look pale. Or is that it's... also part of your act? I like how he's still being himself, even though he betrayed him altogether. Oh, man. <sighs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be awesome. my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. What an honor. I fucking love his talk. It's so fucking crass and I love it. Yes, and I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them because I'm the manager of this task. <laughs> Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. 
How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Well, my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family, and that they hold the secrets of Peniconi. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the Reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed yeah. me. Uh. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? I have Akon. I want a light cone so bad. It's so uh, man. I had to swipe for her light cone, but uh, it was so worth it. That's true. Or maybe but I don't know. What's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. Yeah, I did too, Dragon. I I, I love the veteran and the base interacting and how this happens. I'm like, ah, oh, man. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this? Medical advice? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> Asking me to solve a case without giving a single clue. How typical of you, you wing-headed scoundrel. <laughs> But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway. Yeah. It's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. All right. Monda Knight's Insight. Also, thank you, George. Uh, exquisite, exquisite scroll holding a doctor's prescription within. Dr. Ratio advised you to only unveil it in a moment of your life and death. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Alright. Wait, what was that? You look distressed. Is something troubling you? If so, you can figure it out yourself. <laughs> okay. Alright. Movie critic. Uh, the world has truly lost its way. Sure, bro. Yeah. Whatever. Here, I got these gems for you. You. Wait. I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds. Oh right? man, that's Ooh, wow, what a what a call out to people who do that. I mean, okay. I don't know if the game is like make poking fun of the fact that like people record stuff to do good deeds, which honestly, I don't mind, honestly. Like, let people have good deeds. That's like my hot take. Let, let them do it. As long as they do the good deed itself, like it's not gonna harm anyone really. So uh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's that's funny. That's so funny how the game is like just displaying that. I like how you can actually test the character with Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Lord of All Slots. Also hi. I'm really level off. You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. I guess it's true, yeah. I feel like we're just like all content creators. We want clout in a way. I don't know. It's, in a way, he's not wrong. <laughs> a great show will start soon, old man. Damn. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Oh, yeah, he's trying to hunt death? Oh, that's right, because he's dying. I forgot. Ugh. Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death, huh? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Okay. Death. Not even remotely innovative. Wow. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Schmancy. Oh, what a disappointment. Wow. All right. Jeez. I hope I don't go up to be like him when I gold. So disappointed at everything. The effects work 
awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. Wait. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Wait, wait, wait. He knows about death. What the fuck? The, a monster with eyes. And it... Did he get hit by death? Wait, what? But oh, he's alive. Oh, no. What? Oh. Is that all? Wait, what? Okay. Uh, I also want to ask, how do you enjoy this boss fight? It's good. So far, it's like... <laughs> this patch is a yappin'. It's a yappin' patch, which honestly, I don't mind. Uh, I, I honestly don't know. I have to see more into it. I do like Adventure's plot, though. Regarding 2.1. It's really interesting to see his perspective. Yeah, what else can you expect? Yeah, who knows? Don't put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? Okay, all right. <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. Yeah. It sounds like the memory zone meme. Oh yeah, that's what's called the but meme. Buildings and lights. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Hmm. Oh, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and. Oh concept. yeah, I, I'm not saying like I don't like the um I don't like the yapping part. Like I actually do. I really like it a lot. Um, that but that's what I know so far. Like I, I'm guessing it's building up. Yeah, so far this story is interesting. <sighs> I can feel something uh, inside my head. Uh, is the harmony starting to kick in? Ooh. Would you be willing to support my performance? And keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos? No. Uh, <laughs> here, I got these gems for you. Wow, how fabulous. But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? You know, he's... He's rich. He could probably give you some gems and be okay. Well, you see, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. Hmm. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Anyways, do you know about death? Like, can you just imagine, like, out of context, like, what? Death? That's a pretty scary topic, <laughs> yeah. and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. Oh, I get it, Sloss. I get it, for sure. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panacone. Ah. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. I, th I don't... I mean, I get it, like he gives money to him. Like, also, like, it's kind of like bribery. Like, oh, I gave you these gems. Do you want to help me? I'm like, ah, adventuring. It's a little weird. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death. But there have been some rumors about a guest at the reality dying. hotel so. who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. I guess he's dying, so he, he has to go through all this. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Oh. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I missed that. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. Um, not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest... At the reality hotel, fell in deep sleep and didn't wake up. It was like there was some sort of coma. Nobody knows the concept, but luckily the customer. Oh. Okay. Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May she pay protect us. Unexplained <laughs> coma. May she protect us. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. What do you mean? Unfo unfortunately, the customer lived. Oh, God. What does that mean? What? <sighs> the disturbing voice in my head. <sighs> it's getting closer. Okay. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. Okay. 
Hey, I got the gems for you. <sighs> the expression of the hunk of a man was complex, as if he was looking for a mud-soaked sparrow unable to fly and nearing its end. You don't look good, my friend. Oh. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. <laughs> that won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Cool. Well, actually, I do need a favor. As the most outstanding hound in Panacone, Wow. Have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Stowaways? How could there Mass be stowaways in Panacone? We've never had anything like that before. What, what do you mean? You just had Firefly. What? What? Hello? What, what do you mean? Oh, unless he's like keeping it a secret. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work. <laughs> if I just like, yeah, okay. Oh, what was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IP. Yeah, that's fair. All right. <laughs> Oh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Ugh, darn it. <laughs> now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. Oh my god. God damn Avedrine. Avedrine's not having it. I feel so bad. I'm like, ugh. Event I don't like Avedrine's a little scummy guy and he's okay, but like I don't he doesn't deserve he doesn't deserve this. Ah oh, man. A sip of liquor, a blissful reprieve, to drown a thousand sorrows, let worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. Ooh, I got these gems for you. Oh? <laughs> you, you're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. Oh, such a generous soul. <laughs> or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad, that's enough. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> that guy is wasted. You really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Oh. <laughs> is it? It's in a dream, though. Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the devil of soul glad. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> the devil of soul glad? Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse <laughs> with a long neck. Yeah? They say it loves to appear to jump people, especially the ones who are passed out. On the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. Oh, yeah. What a hoot. <laughs> yeah. Very funny indeed. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yeah, I bet the seahorse does come to you when you're really flat out drunk. All right. <sighs> okay. Oh, they got a stretch. Oh, yeah. I, I'm very. Ah, oh, poor, poor Vedrine. It's not getting a lot of info altogether. You want to talk to me? Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? Hey, Starless. I got the gems for you. Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. I don't think he usually does, too. Or maybe he does. He just needs some information. So... Are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death? Ah, huh. another curious soul. I see. Well... That was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. Okay. But my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. Okay. I thought about it, and she had a point. 
Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Nah, that just, that just means quitter talk. Couldn't find the ghost? Mm-mm. Third-rate tabloid you are. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. All right. All right, cool. God, I, every time. Uh, I'm like, we're at, like, what? At the moment, we're like at 17 system hours. Like, I can't imagine like the one hour mark. Oh. Were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. Oh, I get that sometimes too. Uh, did you know Aquan Signique cancels the harmony effect? Oh, I didn't know that, no. I got these gems for you. Is this a gift for me? Also, no spoilers, Are by the way, sure if that's a bit of a spoiler. Mistake? Yes, it's for you. Just take it. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. <sighs> I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Um. Neither. What? <laughs> what? What? Are you, what? I what the just <laughs> wanted to know if you've never heard about death in the I, Yeah. I'm like, why would I ask about your mother? If I don't know who you are. Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. Uh, He's an Intellitron, so oh. his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. <laughs> how ironic. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm like, I'm very curious with like how... Um, I'm very curious with like how his father's an Intellitron, so I'm guessing he's adopted. All right, that's cool. A little tidbit there. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? All right. Hmm. The devil of soul glad, dangers in the dream, and nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is a popular topic in this sweet dream granted by the family. Well, I've collected a bunch of rumors. Yeah, it does seem like that. Clues. I don't know. That's this. Uh... Remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Oh no, it's Sparkle. Oh no. Look at you, snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, mm. right? I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? Befriend a mute. And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. Ah. Uh, what do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Hmm. No, I mean, what did you mean by becoming one myself? Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Okay. Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Why should I help you? I oh, just... 
for the good, you know, be nice. Don't you want to see Panacone descend into chaos? Well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Oh, oh, but, but it's too late, right? What? Hmm. What? And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. Okay. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now, and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Oh, okay. The other mute. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth and the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, uh, not wrong. Not exactly. Oh. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no. Uh. 16 system hours. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured destruction button. <laughs> what? And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Panacone will go up in smoke. What the fuck? Huh. Oh. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Panacone, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? I, I get what? Okay. I, I'm so surprised I have a button to like, you know, oh, you know, to blow up Panacone or something. That's, you know, hmm. Uh, but really enough, I feel like Adventuring would do that in a heartbeat, considering his situation too. What the heck? Also, yeah, that button does seem very pressable. Like, I'm like, ooh. Just <sighs> press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, Feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Okay. Oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? Ah. <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Panacone. I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. Yeah, more. And at the climax, the walls will crumble. People will wake up. And those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. Those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. Why is that highlighted? What? Why? Okay. Ooh, all right. When that time comes. I don't know what's ahead, happening with this. Press the button. Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? When? What is happening here? Oh man, yeah, I'm questing at the moment. We're still doing this shtick. Hmm. 
Whoa. So, number 35. You're back. Oh, oh. Like your new lucky charm. On his neck, okay. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. Jeez. <sighs> the guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. Massacre? But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> Are we clear? Hmm. Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Uh. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. I think you're insane in general if you just want to buy a slave. But I don't know, that's just me. You know, that's, that's you know, the little, little tidbits there. Uh, aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market uh. is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't let your uh. mask down. Uh, how much did you spend? What? My price. Oh. Uh, how much did you pay for me? Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tanba. No more, no less. I don't know if that's a lot or not. I don't know. Yeah, Kappa's gone too far. Yeah. I'll take my chances. 30 tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanva. Deal? Oh. <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, ah, man. that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. A light thrown away in someone else's hand. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. It's all or nothing. Oh. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. Why is that highlighted too? It's all or nothing. Every time. That's his motto too. Ugh. Now I know why he like, he got that phrase, I guess, in the way. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, back at the trailblazer. Oh, wait, that means. Huh. What brings you here, Gal? Hey, oh, she's really cool, too. I'm, I'm hoping she's like, might be a character soon. <sighs> and there's Gallagher. The old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. All right. Yeah, I like her outfit a lot. She's really cool. What would you like to drink? I'll and a hair. For you. Oh, look. A lady as cool as Sir <laughs> A lady as cool as Sir Ball. Nice. Yeah. I think she is Sir Ball. Who's Sir Ball? Will you uh, <laughs> introduce me to her? Huh? Oops. <laughs> actually, yes, fun fact. Um, fun fact. Uh, me and Zara actually met. Well, we didn't know she was Sir Ball. Uh, but me and Zara, like, coincidentally met Serval the voice actor. That was really cool. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. Okay. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> Hey, my friend, <laughs> do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. Oh, okay. The discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. <laughs> like, no alcohol for you. <laughs> In the bar? But 
Aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything. Yeah, I'm all right. For it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. Oh, did you hear that? She just <laughs> called me my lovely lady. <laughs> That's all I heard, too. Like, oh, wow. Even Marshall's was like, ooh. Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. Okay, all right. All right, all right. So, back of the trailblazer. All right, so. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note underneath. Exchange with your precious things. What should we exchange for it? And who should we give our stuff to? Uh, give. <laughs> Look at this. Give my praise of high morals. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. Give 50,000 credits. Give a bag of trash. I kind of want to give the bag of trash. I want to see what happens if I give the bag of trash. I'm doing that. Here's a trash. You put a bag of trash into the empty cup. <laughs> Happiness is the dream of the humble. Uh, does this mean we can take it? Something feels weird about this. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get, we're gonna drink trash. That's disgusting. All right. Recycled one trash. That's to be bright future. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. Anything else I can do, or uh, nope, went too far. Collecting greens to the drink. I wonder where Himiko is going with this. Like, are, is Himiko actually getting alcohol? Oh, hey. Uh, hey, look Never mind, I just saw Himiko sitting there. Scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came, caused a ruckus for Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. I can only imagine how intense that scene must be. Uh, so enemies drop random gold, drop gold coins even in the dream. <laughs> That's a clever metaphor. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place filled with monsters. That's true, yeah. It's quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her oh. with an incredible drink. Speaking with the drink thing, uh, I think the event just came out like on today on friday which is today at the moment so yeah oh you want to check that out yeah i i don't know much about the the uh the vinay in a cup but uh yeah i can't do it because i have to just i have to do the story apparently so i'm like oh be in all right that's fine uh, check out this bottle the liquid inside looks beautiful and the label reads Dream syrup. Thick. I don't see an expiration date, but the production date is half an amber era ago. Oh my god. Are we... That's like... Okay, I'm guessing... Uh, what was amber era? I think it was like... Decades? Or like... What was like a hundred years? I don't remember. Either way, that's a freaking long time. Ugh, drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good. That's for sure. Maybe it hasn't expired yet. Ugh, the syrup is turned clumpy. Ew. I definitely don't want to drink this, even if it's not <laughs> That's expired. disgusting. Oh, God. Uh. Did you find the bottle of syrup I've been hoarding? Don't worry, it's all just a dream, and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years and should have a refined taste by now. Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. <laughs> I don't. I think she's like, oh, that expired syrup. 
Yeah, it's perfect for guests like you. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I don't like that. Hate that. Uh, then we'll keep it for now. Alright. Oh, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. Recipe the dream syrup. Step oh wait, hold on, sorry. Uh it says back to non-addictive tranquilizer? Oh my god. Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Who was that? Uh huh. What's all the commotion about? Hello? <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi? The Dream Jolt hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown ooh, shack. Ooh, you're gonna piss off Gallagher. Come with me. We'll become the talk of Panacone, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Damn, she's pissed. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Just one moment. She's not having it. What's her deal? Can't discuss the case with other people hanging around ah, the yeah. bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick? Of oh yeah. <laughs> he goes like, yeah. Can you uh mess her up emotionally? <laughs> Just what I've been waiting you. How come even you, Himiko? Time is running out. Yeah, that's true. We need to hurry. We do. We do. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Okay. Okay. All right, You're Amiki. one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop. Yeah, get the hell out. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. No. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. Let it be. This rundown shack with no customers. Who whatsoever. cares? It's her choice. Like, if she wants to stay here, one of those people that can't say no, like, that doesn't accept no for an answer. And I'm like, come the freaking hell on. Siobhan just said anything can be imbibed. Perhaps you can try various experiments and see what different emotions can brew with different drink ingredients. Uh, be happy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen it. The moment when Siobhan and I share the stage, the crowd is uh -oh. going wild. Ah. Uh, Oh, that was like a good one. Waves, the aroma of irises fills the air. A beautiful melody playing, ribbons dancing around us, and the taste is sweeter than honey. Ah. Uh. I've seen that scene countless times in my dreams, and every time it mesmerizes me. That's why I have to bring her back to that world. No matter what it takes. Yeah, wrong emotion. Uh, f whoops. <laughs> Want to raise a glass, my attentive listener? <laughs> Let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched dream. Also, you guys are redeeming that stretch so many times. Like, oh man, my bones are gonna freaking stretch out so much by the time you guys do She's it. She's still not leaving. Hey, I got this though. Maybe I'll have to try again. Cool. I just don't get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, be angry. Those darn Iris jerks! Uh, they're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. Yeah, sure. Anyways, get out. Um. <laughs> I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back 
and write a letter to the Dream Master, exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Sure. Okay, that might get out of control if she gets any angry. All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. Uh, be be sad, you you dumb ex, you. It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid and shy. Longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. Bro, stop I trauma dumping. Guidance. Just go, leave. Because I'll never be able but to do anything alone. Go, go see a therapist. I, I don't know. Leave. <laughs> Come on. You don't know. She no, I don't. Past. I don't. I don't care. And you have no clue God. how radiant Ugh. she used to be. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill was unmatched. I don't care. Stop this. Uh. I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want is for her to reclaim her I place. don't know what you're talking about. What is... Shut up. Leave. <laughs> God. You feel an inexplicable mix of bitterness and sweetness that permeates the air. The next moment, that emotion turns to liquid, filling your goblet. Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. Good. <laughs> my thoughts are swirling, making my mind clear. I feel bad, though, but still. And bringing tears to my eyes. But just, but we have an emergency. Maybe I should find a place. To reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, don't harass her. No means no. Here's the payment for the drinks. Please, pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. I have no idea, Tice. I'm <laughs> so hey, Tice. Okay, Amaki cool. Amaki has left? Good. <sighs> That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. Okay. When you're ready, go to Gallagher. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his Wait, skills. Wait, if it's on the dr on the house, then do I get the money? I mean, I'll take it. Uh, recipe: Eternal Endurance. God, that was endurance. Oh. Whew. All right. Anyways, Gallagher. Hello. That being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. All right. So go ahead, explore the bar, and bring me any ingredients you prefer. Uh, I, I think I got all the ingredients. Nice work. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor. And the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, which one would you like to use as the base? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I don't have the recipe so glad. Really interesting. Um, we'll get the, uh, the dream syrup, I guess. <laughs> you won't find a sweeter drink anywhere in Pentacone. And that's what today's dream seekers crave. Oh, sure. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. It should give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. So, what's your choice for the adjunct? Ah, uh, ooh. Uh, the Bright Future sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah. Bright Future. A taste that's been a long time coming. I'll never forget the flavor that danced on my tongue as Mikhail whisked me through Kale. the dreamscape wilderness. Mikhail? Those were haunting times. Huh. Too beautiful to be real. Mikhail's familiar. Hey, look, it's Zara's man. Yeah. Mikhail. Almost there. Yeah. Let's pick a decoration. 
Which style do you prefer? Anything you need, I've got it. That's even go also say Mikel. I, I wonder. Um Hanu sign. Yeah. A symbol of bravery and dauntlessness. May you break free from your shackles just like he did. Well, it's done. Oh? Oh Here's yeah. You, <laughs> That's so cool. With I love this it. Glass of El Dorado. Nice. To golden dreams. That's cute. <laughs> Well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> so are you went, yeah. satisfied? Yeah, I'm satisfied. Oh, the flavors. They're way <laughs> yeah, more Sarah. sophisticated than Soul Glad. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. Oh yeah. See upon a beloved. Yeah, see what's really cool actually. I like her. I'm like not Monarch. entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing okay. more. Does this true taste have anything to do with that Mikhail? Yeah, Mikhail. Uh, I forget about that. Yeah, I've heard this name in the dream, yeah. Does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Hmm. Do you remember? <sighs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit, and now there's no reason to hide anything oh. from you anymore. Okay. Let's dig deeper into the case, and of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. All right. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local yeah. or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. Mm. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the mm -hmm. best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news. And the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. As if she had never come to Penacony at all. What? Huh? Does that mean... It's a ghost! I don't know, actually. Uh, oh no, death eradicated her. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> That's impossible. What? The problem now is not that she's dead but that it's as if she had never existed in the first place. So wait, does death like just erase her existence? Even though we know her then. What? I'm so confused. Sorry, I'm gonna keep going. Let me be frank. This case actually is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So death does happen in Panacone. Okay. If I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. I mean, there's a lot of problems with the family, but fair. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Oh. Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony. And thus the answer to the question... Why does life slumber? Oh, okay. I still think the father of the Pentacone is Misha, but you know, that's in the story. <laughs> that's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? <laughs> it's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. So how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might oh. have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. Okay. That's just our speculation. 
Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacony and its actual managers are at odds. Yeah, I'm I'm curious. So why why are they? Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the watchmaker an enemy what? for why? a long time. But the hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Aww. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? No. So you want to seize this opportunity to expose the watchmaker? Well, now you understand mm. why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark. Ah, right? uh, okay. I, I'm really glad Gallagher is like a, a good guy. Is like, ah, you know, I'll tell you. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> After everything is happening. Because the watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone. Why? Why? And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. Oh. But what does this have to do with Mikhail? You don't get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. Okay. What's actually like to work at this land? Aw. Okay. Some time later. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a lot to go through. Oh. Here we are. Oh, hey! Studios theme park, the most popular entertainment center in Pentecost. Yay! This is what it's like to work at Disneyland. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. Ah. Uh. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? Mm-hmm. All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. <laughs> the prolonged yeah, exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped. And people started meeting each other in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price, and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. Okay. He is Hanu. Oh, the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdog. Oh, he's actually based on a, a real story. Okay. History is always written by the winners. However, it's mm. undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. Okay. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, Ooh. You'll understand why we're here. Okay. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. Yay, new place! We just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Oh, really? Okay. Come on. Why can't anyone go in? Yay, it's so pretty. New place. <laughs> so many of them. I've never seen anything like this. Even when they're tracking down suspects. Uh, can you convince them to let us in? We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We oh. can just talk here. I have a good air fight. Ah, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Whew, sorry. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. All right, yeah. Let's not the talk here is great, near right? other people. We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, oh. then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. Oh, Clocky represents the, the Watchmaker then? Okay. Huh. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. 
Hmm. Anunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools. Oh. Nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Okay. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for yeah. several centuries? That's true. I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? You can't just hear the age like that. And Gallagher's like, how dare you? <laughs> I don't know. Gallagher just keeps staring at us like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm 13. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. What a, what a prepubescent boy this guy is. Mm-hmm. <sighs> no way. <laughs> Anunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. With limited resources, oh, threats funny. from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, uh... the future of Osdana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No, I'm not his companion, hmm. but rather one of his many children oh i love 31 maybe yeah probably i think i think that's it he was thinking like 31 possibly but i am indeed a traitor not to the family but to mikhail what did you do <sighs> i did nothing and that's the worst betrayal of all just like you i had close companions we dedicated ourselves to penacone but the oak family they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left one. the family to me. find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. Okay. While well, they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore Harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. Okay. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Mm. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. Oh, shit. As for Mikhail. Also, can I just say real quick, the live stream of that guy was like, oh, just like, he's just a regular guy. He's just, you know, nothing important. And now we're seeing a backstory of Gallagher. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, Harry Scoots. Late 30s or the 40s. I, I could see that for Gallagher. I heard he died in obscurity in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. Okay. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family me... all this time. Sorry, guys, real quick. I kind of want to, like, read back like, what he said, actually, real quick. Um... Uh... The land of dreams become deeply corrupted. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, I gave up. all. Oh. Okay. Got it. Hmm. I'd say that. Yeah, he's very, very interesting. Uh, who could that person be then? Is the Watch making an organization? Well, that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. Unfortunately, after all these years. 
I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real, or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting. Yeah, the I'm still thinking like, is it Misha? I don't know. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries... Oh, for Fireflies? Fireflies' death? We will find the answers we are seeking. Okay. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Aww. Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Oh, dog, nah, you're fucking great. I, I think he's he's so surreal. Like honestly, like he's only like, actually like the more chill ones in Pentaconic compared to like most other people who just lie and whatnot. I know. <laughs> just side too. Yeah, he's really cool. Hmm. Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me. Good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Okay. Yeah, that's really exciting. I like it a lot. Caligar does have a troubled past, it mm. seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker. His connection to the family and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams of okay. death. And that the family is united at all, and that the death is related to the Watchmaker, and that Clocky is based on the Watchmaker. Uh, you're really into Clocky. Huh? <laughs> he's just a fictional character, not Look, a real person. I mean, he's technically real in our minds. Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. Yeah. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Uh, the family isn't united at all. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. Okay. Death is related to the Watchmaker. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that's that true, yeah. accusations against Acheron are baseless. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but also, like, yeah, I think Firefly was wanting to get, like, the Watchmaker's legacy of some kind. Whatever, whatever the case would be. Then that happened. I don't know. What sums it up? Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are oh, going yeah. on his end. You know, Welt's just hanging up with Acheron. Not a big deal. Mr. Yang, our investigation here has come to an end. How's the progress in your end? Not too bad. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. We're now headed to Do Light Pavilion. Akron, huh? Didn't the veteran say she was dangerous? I confirmed that she's on our side. Don't worry. Please, please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Yeah. Good old well. Oh, we're at Akron's perspective now. Are your what? companions worried about? What is happening? Okay, sorry. They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. All right. Okay, we're on the um, hour and 11 mark. Someone remind me hour and 11 mark altogether. Um, I'll bear back real quick. I just need to go ahead and uh, go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, look at Akron. You know, have, have fun with her real quick. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. <sighs> Why is she eating peaches? Okay, whatever.
Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Anybody wants to throw a Gallagher? I know, I know. Look, we have Akron though, you know? Alright, okay, I'm back. Alright, sorry. No, I'm so sorry, Zara. Uh, I think that's all of Gallagher. I think. I could be wrong. So honestly, at least you saw all of Gallagher, Zara. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, yeah, I think you're fine. You're fine. Anyways. Anyways, ugh. Won't be able to watch us fully. Yeah, for sure, for sure. At least you saw Gallagher stuff. Zop can be Gallagher, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know, I would stream it on, on a Saturday, but I don't want to see any spoilers. And also, Saturday I'm doing Lethal Company with some people. Something feels off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant Oh in yeah. Sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Oh, so I guess we're going to, um, we're going to Sunday's mansion. Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate okay. ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Oh. Akko and Georgia play slightly, but the moment her breath becomes imperceptible. White. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but... I can't come up with any excuses for being here. Oh, yeah, that's fair. You can't really. I see. What an interesting technique. Okay. Uh, direct explosion with the Aquan technique. Yeah, you can instantly consume them. Yeah, by the way, look at this, you guys. This is so fun. Stream four. So sick. Ah. Oh. The model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? And the footprints here are different from the rest. And there are two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. So cool! <laughs> yes! Uh, I need to watch the full pack. Going to the sheep. I ship for Gallagher. They don't. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, Zara did buy a. Uh, I recently got a uh, Akron's uh, outfit or cosplay. Well, maybe. Stream maybe. Or ordered at least. Did you just think about playing as a veteran? Uh, no. Well, there aren't any people in this mansion. They've set True. up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Oh, okay. I guess we're fighting. All right. Time to change tactics. All right, so I don't have like I don't have two nail these, or at least like my bolt isn't leveled up yet. So. But now I have Bronia, but honestly, Bronia is really good for that Akron either way. Um, so I'm happy with it. Lend me your strength. Gives me more stuff to you. Free will, then take the storm. Because if you put a Sunday or Blue Hill, but I want to see chemistry. Yeah. She's so fun. Look at her. In the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. Nice. It's so cool. <laughs> Not good. Man, Pele, you definitely want if you want to get Akron, uh, if you want to actually do well with Akron. It is unfortunate that Akron is like, is more of like a, it's a niche build, or at least team comp too. Ready for another? No matter. Pele, no, no, okay. Lend me your strength. Then, then I think I'll be good. Still waters of oblivion. Yeah. I weep for the departed. So cool! That's so- I can never stop looking at this. This is such a cool ultimate. Dust's rain. It too shall fall. 
Nice. Oh, I didn't kill him there. Okay, wow. Enemy data security net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Hmm. Okay, okay. There's always there we a go. Place. All things in human Um, he does okay, yeah. If I have to rate only playable waifus and thus Kokolia's off the list, like it goes high up there for me. He goes still number one, but I know Aquan's really badass for sure. I get it. Destined for oblivion. A quick divination. Ready for another? Okay, this okay, battle okay. is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. We've entered the storm. All right, we got that in there. To guard and defend. Crush them. Another journey begins. Still waters of oblivion. Ooh. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was gonna use ultimate. Never mind. Look, it dropped something. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Hmm. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The hmm. Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are. There should always be someone left at the mansion. So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. Okay. <sighs> okay, yeah, no worries, Sarah. You're good. No one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. Oh. Oh yeah, her white. Okay, her white is called Bated Breath. Okay. Uh, ooh, a letter from Robin. Dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Dewlight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return. But with approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrain from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Panacone, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion and illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Pentacony is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately reached out that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings, or if a senior member, member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation led me to the latter conclusion. It's an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family in Panacone, and it's highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. With the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede our, its progress, or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family's heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You are the only true family member I have left. There's another matter that requires my attention. During my investigation, I learned about the memory zone meme death, and my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause the series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I have collected more clues and I am prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparations for the Charmony Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take long. Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in the reality when you're free. I've brought some work, especially some other galaxies, more pudding, to oh, that sounds really good, actually. Tarts from Morlands, raw strawberries from the Aconiaco, known for the exceptional size of sweetness, which I'm certain you'll enjoy, and almond marine cream cracknels from Medicia. Don't forget to enjoy them. May Zipe be with us, your sister Robin. Okay. Okay. So, Robin, we knew Robin was losing her voice, but apparently it was because someone who was higher up in the family was messing with her voice. And apparently someone is doing a to your motives because of that. Okay. Now we know. Okay. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something 
unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Okay. Gotcha. So one of the family had this cause disharmony. Yeah, it's causing disharmony, yeah, or discord, if you will. List of deaths victims. Answer all Mihal Villanian. Oh. Well, sin bathing on the beach in the moment of oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. No, this is the first case. Can anyone can can't tell if anything is wrong? Insufficient investigation. Mori, a male from Shanzhou, entered a spear ward in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spirit was balancing in the air. Later examinations showed no signs of forced entry or exit on the spheroid. No, it seems that the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation methods feasible. Emaka, a female human, participated in a talent show in the moment of Scorch Sand, but accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared in the shadows below. The footage for that episode of the show has been deleted. No, the culprit is swift and skilled at disguises. Caution is advised. Oh, really? Weber, a male Pepeshi, fell down when entering his office on payday in Gilden Hour and was killed by an unknown being that suddenly appeared. The memories of witnesses has been processed. No, preferring to attack wounded or vulnerable individuals. Uncertain. Maybe taking orders from someone else. Oh, maybe. That's true. Maybe the death is taking someone's orders. Okay. Chemet, a male Pepeshi who was taken away while flipping over a car at a casino in the moment of stars. The casino staff has dealt with the aftermath of the incident. No, flipping a card. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Deckham, a male human, jumped into the ocean of dream bubbles in Blue Hour in an attempt to impress his girlfriend, but got entangled by an unknown meme under the sea and drowned. His girlfriend's memories have been processed, but the outcomes are not satisfactory. Further intervention from motivators may be necessary. No. Most cases are related to the ocean. Could this be a breakthrough? Additional no. Scratch that. After checking, only two cases were related to the ocean. Kyxia, a female Foxian, was engulfed by an unknown meme while playing dreamy slots in the golden hour. The incident caused a huge commotion at the spot. The memories of most witnesses have been processed. No, could be the sweet dreams true? Does it have the ability to Im imitate and learn? Multiple culprits? There is likely a mastermind behind the scenes. Okay. Uh, male blood. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. This is, this is a lot to go. I'm gonna just speed through this. Uh, well, thinking his death after a fight. Okay. Good match, been handsome prisoner. No distance. Okay. okay. Janet, female human. Walk, drawn towards a mysterious sound, calling to her, walking through the screen, vanishing off without a trace. Okay. Only case for the culprit gems to his speech ability. Okay. Monk and male intelligence attacked by replacing his newly purchased high grade vision sensor in the auction at the moment of dusk. Okay. Mirror? Note with the current hypothesis related to sight? Okay. Just caught by a meme in the mirror. More attacks occurred in darker, dim environments. Is sight really a trigger? Abducted, keep a look out for the favorite fan. Taking a nap, plus in, consider discussing with the Alfalfa family about increased vacation time, whatever. Uh, no, this is a genuine case of death. The meme must be connected to the concepts such as death and murder. Uh, Carson Dugulnar, okay. The list comprises over a hundred cases related to the meme, memory zone meme death. However, the author of the list seems to struggle with figuring out the pattern. Okay. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. Okay. As he's funny. Oh, yeah, but that one for he's sure. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Cool. What for clues? This light cone. Oh. Is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. That's cute. Look at baby, baby Sunday and Robin. That's so cute. 
Aww. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. That's cute. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains. They're dead. But also relationship's losses. gone. Yeah, time has a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. That's that's pretty sad, but yeah, I'm kind of not wrong. Kind of, not all the time. Uh, to Sunday. Love from Alpha. Uh, but because you Claude did not cause engagement victory. Yeah. But you're convinced that death's connected to the watchmaker. I met the watchmaker many times long before the Jew master adopted you and your sister. Never found any evidence linking to him. That memory's on meme. Okay. Uh, as a matter for Robin, there will be time to pursue once the festival concludes, but then I'll provide you in a series. Okay. Help get revenge. The rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with his activities. Okay, cool. Alright. Old Audi. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old Odi is happy with Sunday's recent performance. Ow, I'll jaw. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Okay. May I ask you to listen to Gallagher's voice about Misha? Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, I heard it. Esteemed head of the Oak family. The investigation into all the suspects involved or death case has been concluded. The findings are summarized below for your review. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Now, nah, if you want to read it, you can pause or whatnot. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to. It's a lot to go through. Okay. All right. There are a total of 52 suspects on the list, followed by Sunday's notes. Perhaps there is a common thread among them. I have reached a conclusion. Oh. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family I for see. a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Hi, Jor. <laughs> huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Uh, yeah, that's true. Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. Hmm. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. Oh. I don't think trespassing on forbidden Ooh. areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger. Hi. Hello. Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. Yeah. I hope you can forgive us. We also destroyed your guards, but, you know, we came in without permission. <laughs> but even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Okay. Mm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured. He hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Oh, Whisper, he's right there. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? Yeah, that's true. With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, mm -hmm. and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, 
The true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. Oh. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. Okay, gotcha. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Oh, okay. That's nice. Mm. Woo. Oh, back to Ventry. <laughs> okay. Hey, watch out for Ventry. We're playing as Ventry. <laughs> Good transition. I really wonder why Sunday is like so. I guess like Sunday doesn't want Sunday doesn't want Ventry to cause chaos. But eh. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Edgehazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avjin extinction event Ooh. who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. The second Katika Avjin extinction event. I'm guessing that's the massacre. Huh. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter, and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Whoa! Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mm -hmm, sorry. Mm -hmm. Anyways, sorry. Mm -hmm. Anyways, what? Uh, mm -hmm. Anyways. Ooh, uh, it's the pink hair lady. <laughs> what pretty eyes. Tell me. Do they shine in the dark? No, it's Jade. It's the what her name. Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. Damn. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet. You went and killed that man anyway. Eh, yeah, good words. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> yeah. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your hmm. luck has run out. Oh, Tazeroth, okay. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end. Including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high stakes gamble. <laughs> I thought eventually it was like just being flirted, like, man, I already have one want. I already have what I want. Being here with you. And then just rises up. <laughs> Anyways. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hmm. What do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. 30 tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. Yep. 
With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. Flirty Tonbus. He'll give you that. And... much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name. But unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though. You deserve to live. To create even more wealth for us. Okay. Go. Pick the clothes you like. Then choose your desired identity. And then? <laughs> Use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Yeah, okay. Is that how we got hired by the IPC then? And what a gamble. Life is like a long term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But, what then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or... Will I encounter failure, never to return? Ooh. I bet, like, he has to go through so much within this, like, his anxiety, like, if he fails, he's fucked, then this, he has to go through that every single time. Luckily, he's just, well, lucky, but, ugh. I can't imagine that. Damn. Ugh. I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas, lowly gambler. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? Perhaps both. You've forgotten me already. When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlord, who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. Oh. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need it's to happening. be so polite. Oh, was it the border? Uh, so essentially, um, uh, Sunday gave eventually in like, I think, uh, 18 system hours to live. And she, he has to like solve like the case, like the traitor case, until then. Uh, so yeah, and now he's in like a a Discord harmonious like time limit. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you, of what exactly you want. You're dying. Mm -hmm. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? That's true. That's true. Why not? Why can't he pull it off? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last 
dredge of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. Okay. <laughs> what exactly are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. <laughs> and I am that outcome. Kakabasha, I am your future. <laughs> First I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Oh god. Why are there no get just a Pepeshi? No. Oh, sorry, I skipped that dialogue. A I child. guess. Aw. I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. That's funny. Hey kid. You okay? You know what's funny? We are like we know lost? if someone's not a kid if they don't have like the, the orb, like the antenna thing they have. So if they don't, then it's like, oh, it's a child. Uh, uh, Guys, stop. I just want to say this real quick. Don't don't backseat me. Like, I just, let me do my own thing. Like, that's really it. I just want to join the story. Like, I know people like, keep telling me, just let me just do this. Like, I appreciate it. I just want to do my own thing. What's like, wrong, mister? Oh. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> Your eyes. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Oh. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Okay. Are, are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Was that a crack of thunder in the game or in my house? Because it's sunny and I'm really thoroughly confused. That was really realistic. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Those eyes. And Mama Thung. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, it, that was good design. It, it though. can't awesome. There aren't Catch any up, left. whoa! Catch up with the young Afghan boy. What's with it all like blocked? What's with my quest on the left? What? Okay. Oh, this is this this music park looks really pretty, but also this looks really terrifying in a way. I don't know if I like this. Uh, do. I'll do it later. That's fine. I'll, I'll do this the puzzle stuff later. I'll do it when everything's Papa, done. Mama, wait for me. <laughs> Only on Panacone, am I right? <sighs> what are you still doing here? Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink syrup is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panacone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds <laughs> pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies, calculations. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent oh, yeah. act of betrayal. That's right, Dr. Rasha did, like, fail or betray us, or betray eventually, really. No oh, one, everyone thinks this way. Who would even suspect that it was another trap you meticulously devised? <laughs> Go on, tell me I'm right. 
You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, sober, cautious, massive inferiority complex. You want so much, you're still so afraid of losing. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight flush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. Hmm. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself, too. Okay. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation. Was that not what you most wanted? But you chose the IPC instead. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? War done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. Just, hey, just stop talking and disappear. Just leave me alone. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. <laughs> That's fair, huh? I think eventually we'll live with all throughout all this. I think he's just too lucky altogether. Or maybe he'll die because we were seeing a lot of backstories with all this. After the agony of stonier places, the shouts and the cries. Prisons, palaces, and reverberations. Ooh. Okay. Ah playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. Are we? Okay. Oh god, okay, more of these. Alright. Uh there we go. That that No, not that kind of pet view. No. No. Get your mind out of the gutter. Okay. Uh can I just use acro on stuff? Stream four. Yay! Get out of here. <laughs> it's so fun to do that. Hide and seek. What sweet childhood memories. When Mama said goodbye that day, how many catechins were like jackals hot on your heels? I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. You and Big Sis. Ooh. Playing dead. Drifting in all that bloody water. Completely ruined that shirt. <laughs> Shame. Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? Oh my god. <laughs> it wasn't ruined. Yeah, I saw. I've always kept it. Oh, come on. It's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Well, your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be it. You should enjoy it. Okay. That child. Could he be in here? Oh yeah, look at this thing. This is so cute. Hold on, wait, wait. Can I just? I know it's very serious, but hold on. Let me do this real quick. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, okay. I wish it was better, more better place, but oh well. Moving on. Okay. Uh, he who was once living is now dead. We were once lived and are now dying. Ooh. This is so weird how like this is such a messed is up story this... and they're like in this happy place. Oh, this the uh... a, a topaz. A 
what is this doing here? <laughs> what? Does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart, son? <sighs> I was merely curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a... <sighs> The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipon's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say that doctor's acting was... Perp. Okay. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail yeah. to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. He does seem very like he does seem very like controlly like. It's like it's just if he doesn't have anything in control then like he he's not in it. He just hates it. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leave the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. We spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under The third them. stone? <sighs> why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Your mind. <laughs> it's our mind. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just oh. got lucky this time. Okay. Ow, I'm sorry. This is the <laughs> You're right, Ventured, I am you. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Hi. <laughs> this type of stone isn't rare, but its hue <gasps> is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem is... Oh. Jade. Ah. It all comes down to Jade. Wow, all right. Mommy Jade, yeah. You lost on Akron's weapon banner? Me too, Brooke. Me too. I get it. Are you gonna still try to pull for Akron's weapon? Or like, nah, that was it. It's tough. I get it. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Oh, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones, who, for a measly panic Offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family. Oh, man. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. All or nothing, every time. Every time he says this. Also, I'll bear back real quick. Hold on. Uh, I'm pulling for a weapon. I'm at 20 pity. Oh, okay, that's fair. Hope I have enough time to get it before I banner ends. I think you will. If you haven't done all the events and whatnot, especially the new one that just came out today, uh, you'll be fine. Also, hold on. Real quick. Okay, all right. Yeah, I think you'll have enough time for abandonments. Yeah, for sure. You got this. All right. Ah, okay. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? Oh. I 
just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. Ooh. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. You smashed the Aventurine stone before you left. Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous shape. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. Wow, god dang. It's so rude. Oh, okay. Hi, hey, Marina. Thank you for the stretch. Uh, clear, I'm gonna stop with the stretching. I've been stretching so much, you guys. I've, I've been stretching. I've stretched like five times this stream. Oh, uh, I think I'm done. I'm good. I'm gonna take away the stretch. Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Now I'm really curious. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction? Do you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards? I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is... If you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. Alright. So I'm not uh, talking a lot. Is gone. Um, I'm just like wanting to know what's happening. I'm very... I'm, I'm not reacting too much. I just, huh? I'm very lost with a lot of these things too. It just seems like, it, again, they're like yapping and whatnot, but it's also like, I I really don't know what they have to, what they're talking Three, about. Four. And I have to process that in my mind. And that like, I need like a moment of my time. So I'm sorry if I'm a little bit like silent. So <laughs> that's also it. Hey, Kamika, Jared, hi. You can finally watch the play. Nice. That's what I'm trying to do too. That's exactly what I'm doing. I want to like finish this, like, and then I can see everyone else's either streams or just like, I don't get spoiled altogether. That's really it. Woman of warning. Oh yeah. By the way, you guys, real quick. Uh, I might disconnect on the two-hour phone to mark. Uh, if I do, I'll put up ads, and then the whole hour we won't have any more ads. So, there we go. Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Okay. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there, too. The four of us were just playing hide-and-seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Oh. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. Yeah, moving wall painting. That's kind of a movie. Yeah, I guess so. They put me... Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. Oh, you know, he's dying, but, you know, it's okay. I'm <laughs> sure. Okay. But he's a little bit of a sweetheart. A little bit. I mean, obviously, he's, he's probably being nice to him, but, you know. Uh, hamster ball night. Fast and furry nuts. Okay, sure. Oh. Oh, wait. Am I doing this? Oh, wait. Whoa. Oh, click the football in the dodge obstacles of the opponents. If you dodge right before you're about to crash into the roadblock, you'll trigger turbo dash. Experience a short period of vulnerability. Okay. You land your nutty blitz in the That's a weird. Okay. All right. Uh, film links in the movie mode. The progress bar indicates the filming progress. Audience score will be blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. All right. It might disconnect too. It's really unfortunate, but we'll see. Oh. Oh, that's so weird. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Yay, Turbo Dash! Okay, cool. This is really fun. A very quirky game. I love it. <laughs> Yay! This reminds me of like those like mobile like mobile apps. Cool. I'll take it. Sure. <laughs> that was fun. I like that. That's so, so fun. <laughs> How's that? Not a bad score, eh? <sighs> oh. Boring. <laughs> then she's like, oh man, no one, no one saw my cool score. Uh. All right. Baki's extra filming experience. The clock is exper extra filming experience in the event now has more available activities. Guests are welcome to try them out. Okay. Cool, I guess. I'll do that later. <laughs> We're just going to do that whole thing. Give me these. Now that I have an Akron, I really need to get those, like, those items. I give you, oh, I give you, like, uh, those items. I forgot what it's called. The, uh, technique points. Why aren't you talking? You piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Okay. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Okay. I, I, I really don't get like why are we just like arguing with our ourself or what what what's happening here? Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. Okay, cool. Uh ride the pinball machine. Okay. Alright. I I don't know why, but I actually really like those these pinball machines. They're actually really fun. <laughs> like little small puzzles. That works, and then that works. Yep. Yay! Wow, this place. It's so tall. Even taller than the tallest rocks in the desert. Here is no water, only the rock. Dwayne Johnson? There are so many flowers here. Fix this. This one's for oh, you. Oh, no, this is a little sad. I wonder like how her sister died, because I know everyone else died, but except her sister at the time? And him? Rocky, no water, only the sandy road. What is this? This is a maze, oh my god. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. Huh. A dead end? Oh, is this the wrong way? Oh. It, is this? Oh. Oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hint? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. You made your first pot of gold. I remember it all too. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist, for that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that maze, you... Shut up! Oh, you don't wish to face your past. <laughs> Unwilling to admit that your life is worth at least 60 tasmas. Well, from what I see... Oh, 30. You refuse to confront it, because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. Okay. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. <laughs> could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. Opal? Oh, okay. I guess another IPC person. Okay. Pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Alright, so thunder all over. Out of professional integrity. 
<laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. Huh? <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... disappear? Hmm, <laughs> that's cheating. <laughs> that's if cheating, can't have that. could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? No, no, that's not how flowers work. With their spot. Oh, I didn't see. It. I didn't read that. Damn it. No. Ugh. Amongst the. I keep. I didn't stop going for it. I want to read them. Ugh. God. Okay. My bad. God damn it. <sighs> Let me guess. The adventuring guy's coming out. Oh. Your expression right now is hard to put into words. The lucky charm on the left of you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? There's a lucky charm. You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. But no, that was a lucky charm. Alright, whatever. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Oh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't somehow. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra and Triclops. <laughs> That's me, Lucky Charms. Exactly. Happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. Okay. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. Tisk, tisk. <laughs> A lifelong regret, indeed. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Shut me down like a champ. Damn. Well, I Dude, I'd be annoyed too. Man, exactly I'd right. be so annoyed too if like someone was talking to me the whole fucking time and then this guy was so witty about it and it's me. Man, I would be at my wit's end. I would go crazy. I'd be like, shut the f up. <laughs> really? Ugh. I don't blame him. Eventually really losing it. I mean, you, you are too, technically, that, that you're the same as me. I would just be mad if someone never stopped talking. That's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Also, hi, Tide Ribier. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> hmm. Well, you stuck to that start to finish. Now think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Stellaron in play. Cryptic messages from a masked fool and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. Hmm. But who's exactly? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> All right then. Reserve a seat for me. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiathra's blessing? Oh, I don't know, yeah. Huh. You didn't pull for Akron? Damn. Well, you have you have enough time. And if you don't want to pull for Akron, then uh, how dare you? Uh <laughs> I don't know. Escape the so maze. Escape the last escape. 
Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? Yeah, honestly, it was... I would go mad if, like, an adventuring-like person or some sassy person of myself would talk non-stop and it knows everything about me. God, that would make me crazy. <laughs> I like how Adventure was like, wow, you are nuts. I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm talking to you. I'm like, what, what do you mean? Dead mountain mouth of curious teeth. Oh, God, Finally Jiren. Made it out of this place. We're going uh, home? But I don't want to go back yet. I did it go. Please, let me go. Let me go. Uh, it's going to be my third 70th. Plus pull five star back to act of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, good luck. The thing is some energy. Oh. It's that easy. So I'm going to do that. Okay, then that, then that, then that. Yep. Yay. I'm good at these. I'm so good at these. Nice. It's so fun here. I want to stay here forever. Ooh, maybe not. Mm. Maybe, maybe no. Maybe don't. Ooh, can I open that? No, I can't. Okay. But no water. Okay. Oh no. Brother Hanu, where are you going? Is that clocky? What the heck? Hi, Cedrus! What's that? That was in the Venturine's memories. What the? Okay. Alright, I guess it's telling me to do this. Alright, back to being Hanu. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no, don't get me! Don't get me! No! I can't climb! Oh, <laughs> I got punched. You come for the not so cool way. All right, cool. What do I do then? Wait, what do I do? Oh, I see. Okay, I have to go down there. What? Oh, there. Okay, I'm just gonna go there. There's <gasps> only one place he can be going. A rocket launcher? Boss Stone's minions will experience true calamity when Hanu gets his Hanu launcher. <gasps> what? Yo, what up, Deadweight? Oh, hell yeah. Well, Hanu's in my ammo. Look at two Hanu's on. Okay, I gotcha. Whether it's in the past, present, or future. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's so happy about it. Alright. Ooh, I can explode that? Oh, I didn't mean to hit that, but okay, I guess that works. Alright. Yeah, thank you. I know that now. I, I don't know if this game... I, I, I'm very weirded out by this. It's just so weird how, like, we're going through adventurings, like, past and whatnot I possibly this whole place is past and it's very serious but I can't take it seriously with Hanu like this it's just like why okay I'm like uh, okay cool all right uh I can't get down there oh okay uh it's molding time please no I so my kill sounds like clocky oh god I don't yeah Oh, I still think it's Misha, but I don't know. Brother Hanu playable. I know, Brother Hanu playable. Get up there. There's been so much, but at the same time, so little is adding up. It's so confused. It, it really is. Like, I, I'm i not... I, I don't get the pacing of, like, of all this entirely. It seems weird to me. A character that, <laughs> that rivals Akron, Hanu. Mister, is that you? I hear the sound of leather shoes. So I'm gonna yank this bird out real quick. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. All this will make sense. Yeah, I bet it will. 
Like, I get it. I think it's just more so of, like, I get it. It's gonna get, like, a grand finale and, like, we'll understand everything. But I think, like, it's prolonging too much from what I'm thinking of. At least to me. It just seems like it's not... It's not... Paced well, I'd say. I bet it's still good, but it's like a... Yay! <laughs> Free treasure. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you? Yeah, we zero this bird message. Yeah, me too. They're just, they're just like talk nonsense, honestly. You just ignore it. Hey! Okay. I don't know why, Mister. I mean, I don't appreciate the piece of mail, honestly. It's a little weird. Special feeling. Makes me more curious about you. I, I think mainly because I didn't I just didn't like the pacing with like adventuring and like fake adventuring. I think it was just so monotonous that I didn't like it. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. Come we on. have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? No. God no. No. Fake adventuring yapping? Nah. Not at all. Mm. You're going back? Yes. Okay. I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. Okay. In this dream. Park, this beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, Mister, why don't you like it? Huh. <laughs> because they're not here. Oh, oh man, poor adventuring. Uh. Oh, fuck off. This, I swear. Ugh. I don't know. Hi, dragon. I can, like, love the eyes of the Naughty Dragon. It's a little kid. Yeah, the little kid has big eyes. I've noticed. Mm-hmm. You do know. But there's no point pressing the issue. <laughs> Admit it. You're tired. Oh, I bet, yeah. Does he? Alright. Hey, Chi Chi. You'll be the closing act. The final sacrifice. I can do it. And it will be flawless. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. Oh. It's that simple. will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, leave the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. 
You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. Oh. So that's why Diamond chose you. He's just I wonder who Diamond is. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Uh. My, I was born oh, you later. Okay, that's right, that's right. Thank you. Well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. You can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before. But why you? Why? Must it be you? Oh, no, he's just lucky. If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more, if these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyathra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? Mm, okay. <sighs> well, maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Oh yeah, so I just, yeah. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. What? Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's... It's what? It's best to die without regrets. Oh no, wait a minute, no! Wait, I thought... No! I think Adventure's gonna live. He has so much luck. I would just say how like Adventure's gonna live through all this. But, oh no... Mm, okay... We don't know anything yet though, but still. Take a photo for me. Aww. I want a momentum. Sure. Come on. That's cute. Use the function below to take a picture. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> That's really cute. All right. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Hmm. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. Okay. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. Oh, oh, it only shows him in his outfit there. A photograph exclusive be yours. May your plans never suffer failure. Do we like it shorter or longer I'm now? Actually a merchant. But I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing I still that. want to make it faster. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than theirs. <laughs> awesome! I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. Oh, wow. I mean, you will. <laughs> of course you can. You'll be better and stronger than me. Aww. Always another one that is beside <laughs> you. 
But who is that on the other side of you? Ooh. I don't know. No, no hints. No, like... I get it. I get it. No, no more hints altogether. I, I get it. I know your experiences, but don't don't tell me your experiences because honestly, that still counts as a hint. I, I don't want to like have anything else. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not a dumb person. I know exactly what y'all are talking about, and kind of don't want to like assume things. I want to see how it goes. I appreciate it though. I do understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, no, those pose altogether. Yeah, it's just I don't know. One of those things where like. If someone says this thing, I'm like, oh, I know what happens. I'm very good at predicting things. <laughs> Over plains endless. Into cracked earth's stumbling. Okay. Is that a bar? Alright. Oh, okay. Then yeah, do your thing, Loon. For sure. Zap it in Lynette's head. That's true, I did. And I caught it. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. Okay. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. Oh. The Catechins are coming. Why? The Catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. Oh, that's a little sad. They know the Avjin will birthday. surely hold oh. a festival today. With the aid of this ring, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Catechins know, this time we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. Men in black. The Catechins stand no chance against them. And will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the Catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But, but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avjin will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. <sighs> this is so sad, man. As how Starky Avedrian is, he doesn't deserve all this. Like, god damn. Also, welcome, thank you for following us, bartender. You've given me the luck for Aquan. Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. Farewell. 
Good Papa Sha. News flash from the Inter Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's marketing development department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjin, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. That's a lot. Ugh. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Ah. Kakavasha? <laughs> Bye. Aww. Go on stage. Ah. Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. I'm scared. By the I'm way, scared. Before you go, I have a personal question. You. Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? It's true, yeah. <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Okay, all right, a pack of chill laser. All right, okay. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Maybe we will. Uh, Hello, I'm Himiko, the Astral Express oh, hey. Navigator. Akon and Himiko meeting together. Oh hell yeah! Hello, I'm March seventh. I'm sure he needs no introduction. As you definitely know him. Uh, you can <laughs> you can call me Clocky. Uh, hello. None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you, and we trust his judgment. Okay. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity, which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to uh, explain himself. You want to create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Yeah, it's true. Anaconi has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog yeah. and the Xianzhou. Oh yeah, Penaconi is a mess compared to Bellabog or Shunzo, for sure. Uh, I am the boy. 
Fucking all these freaking options here. I am the bone of my bat. Stella is my body, and Trillblaze is my blood. <laughs> Fuck it. You're talking weird again, but it's a good vibe. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Peniconi. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? <gasps> you got Acheron, dude? Hell yeah, congrats. Nice. That's so awesome. Um, enjoy Acheron. I will accompany you, of course. Yes, that goes with us too. Woo! Let's move out then. But where do we start Oof. looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. The most wondrous, most magnificent show in Peniconi's history is about to begin. <laughs> Look. Well, there we go. Should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Okay. Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. All right. I'm really excited. What's gonna happen here? Sybil, what do you want? Oh, I have a bad feeling that something big oh, will yeah. go down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Are you ready? No. <laughs> I'm ready though. All right. Oh, look, 80 pulse, nice. What do you think of the writing quality of Pentacony? Would you consider it upgrade? Um, for the writing quality of Pentacony, I would say yeah, it definitely did, for sure. It definitely upgraded, especially compared to like the Shanzo and then Pentacony, a lot. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park then. All right. Mr. Yang. Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? What? It's just like you said. Uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story. Not something that can be summed up in a few words. Well, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to explain all that to you. Nah, just let him figure it out. But... I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. It's because you look like Ryan made for Honka Impact, but you know, that's another story. Anyways. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. <laughs> They're just waiting. Like, what are you two doing? Thank you. Aww. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you, if my meager strength is required. Okay. A walk among the tombstones. That's not... That's a nice thing to have. Okay, alright. Well, we're gonna do this one then. Alright. We'll go with the Agon team. Now I'm going to Jealousy Watch you five. That's a difficult We're adjustment. Oh, oh, the difficulty adjusted. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Wait, did the difficulty really adjust it? Oh, I wish it was more harder. Dang, I would, I would love to do that. Uh, oh, that well. guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. Hey, welcome back, Scoots. The other party has obviously come prepared. Where? Where's the other party? How did you... What? Okay. This music. Oh, okay. What's happening? What the heck? Astral Express, you're late. And this, unsung guest. 
We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. <laughs> oh, I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone, give it up for Mr. Stellaron! It's me! Um... <laughs> God! Mommy, look, I'm on TV! <laughs> Mommy, look, I'm on TV. Uh, <laughs> Marge is like, what the hell? Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and his identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh, no, they do. Uh, yeah, cough is my mommy. Yeah, she would be proud. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? I don't know. Because he's the only one who saw all three homicides. He three. is the key to proving that the family's death that does not exist in Train's promise is nothing but a sham. Three homicides? That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here. In Clock Studios theme park. What the hell is he doing? A truly grand death. You, 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 and you. All of you are going to die. And it's all because of you, Mr. Stellaron. You will become the personification of death. Uh, ain't that powerful. Never underestimate yourself. Like I said, you have the power to turn the tide on the entire game. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panicone. BAM! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become IPC Fleet's navigator. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You wanna bet? Oh no. <laughs> He's sure. betting, you guys. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can't. Yeah, yeah. It's just another gamble. I came from the wastelands of Sagonia for just 60 red copper coins. People paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me. The yeah, but that's not. I, I I've seen everything in his backstory, but it's nothing that you know. I, okay, I'm but gonna show. could not kill me, and the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. No, I've never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, "Sleep is the rehearsal of death"? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. <sighs> Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. You can walk. Nor do you have any reason uh... or crown to... The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. Oh, and fate's been the wheel. A daring gamble. 
walking the brink of death for rebirth. Whoa. For the Emperor Lord. Oh shit, I love his new move or new um transformation. I've seen a little bit from the first trailer. Oh. Whoa, okay. Evil sewer. Still waters of the Alright, let's do this. Together as one, commencing support. Dude, this music is really cool. Yeah, it's like, kinda like how a child is, essentially. Ready for another? This battle is under the data six net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Okay. Lend me your strength. Existence is fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. I weep for the so departed. Cool. Yeah. Dust spring. It yeah. Going all in. Okay. Take everything I can. What the fuck? Attack as many enemies as possible for a gamble. What the fuck? Oh. Uh, okay. Lend me your strength. What? Lower points. You lost the gamble. What the fuck? I didn't even. What? Oh, come on. I was gonna use Icon to do that. Oh, what the heck? All right. Destined for oblivion. I see through you. Oh. You've got it. Lend me your strength. Okay, hold up. We got this. We got this. Still waters of oblivion. Yeah, break. Oh, it didn't matter. <laughs> Down from above. This music's really sick. I love it. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, I was gonna use the ultimate, damn it. Oh, what? Why is it always her? God damn it. Alright, well, I guess I'll hit the dice then, I guess. Oh. The gamble's also the draw. Okay, for sure. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. I need to slow down once that entry does the stuff, actually. Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. All things human. Okay, we got this. We got this. Average adventure in boss Yeah, it's pretty really crazy. I love it. I love it so much. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. Okay, we'll do that. Ready for another? I weep for the departed. <laughs> It too shall fall. Okay, okay. Still water cup lifting. Prepare for some hard work. Okay, okay, okay. We got this, we got this. Yeah, Fushon definitely is helping a lot, for sure. I feel like I'm not doing enough damage. Which I should have used my dot team, but ah well. That's okay. I want to do this for fun. Another journey begins. In the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. Nice. <laughs> Phase two. Even on a losing streak, as long as people still have hope, they'll keep throwing money on the table. The chance. How The potential is what you hang on to. That's what justifies the gamble. Okay. He's really an addict. Ugh. Guys, I'll never be an addict like him. Be an addict of gambling. Destined for oblivion. Okay. With all my power, try the future. Okay. Oh, it's only payload? Why can't it be Akron? Uh oh wait, I can do all of them. Oh shoot. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna do this. Inputting commands. 
Okay. And then I'm gonna use everyone's dice using Akronsol. So I'll attack everything. All right, nine points. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Uh, that. Free will, or was okay, it? Okay, okay. Okay, nine I points. Nine food. points. I don't know what I'm supposed to do really. I really don't know. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? No! Oh, everyone else made it, but... Okay, everyone else didn't make it, but Aquan made it. Oh my god, okay, that makes sense. What was happening? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. That was good. Oh, I should have saved that for a push one, actually. Not well. That's so funny. <laughs> They're all single target except Akron. Whoops. Dusted for oblivion. Okay, okay, we got this. We got this. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Okay, we got this. We got this. We can break them. Oh man, that's funny. I I can't do anything with that unless I have two Schwanzels. But even then, I can only save two people. Ooh, that's rough. Lend me your strength. Still waters of oblivion. Nice. Yeah. All right, let's do it again. Oh, I should have saved Bouchon's ult there. Fuck. Okay, five. Ready for another? This battle is unavoidable. Okay. Another journey begins. That Aqua's gonna be fine because she can just hit everything. Oblivion. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> Everyone else died, but no. God damn it. I can't do anything with that. Oh, everyone's. Oh, that's not good. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. It's okay. I weep for the departed. That girl's gonna carry us. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Look at that. Got some dead. That's so funny. Uh. Lend me your strength. for oblivion. Okay. Oh man, this is not good. All right, I know Bronia and maybe Paitla might die. That's not good. Ah, uh, just do this. It's okay. Keep it. That's not good at all. That sucks. That sucks. Two. Uh... Ah, you're good. Oh, the all target. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Stop it. Oh. That's not good. All right. Well, that fucking sucked. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. Free will, or was it destined for oblivion? All right, we're good. We're good. We still got this. <laughs> Never mind, I forgot to do the E. Oh, I'm fucked. Okay. Uh, I really don't know what to do. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. <laughs> The storm. Okay, let's do it. Oh Divide man, this is not good. Them. Okay, cool. I got it. Uh, Fushuan is having trouble, so we'll do that, but then I'll use the ult. All things okay, and then she'll be okay. Creations. Okay, cool. Fushuan's fine. Bronya's not. <laughs> Oh, just heal, heal her, please, a little bit. Oh. Uh, who's the then? I weep for the departed. 
Oh, please. Oh, right there. Damn it. Oh, okay, okay. Um. Booster up just for the hell of it. Oh, we got it. Okay, we're good. Oh my god, the laser! Always hide your ace with a straight face. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last shit. Only by casting aside reason does one truly gamble. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pentecone. Oh. What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. The hilly. Even if... That's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes. Am I the same? You still have a strand of color. But not much. Huh. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely. I will reach the Nihility's end. What does that mean? What? Whoa, <laughs> that was so cool. But what do they mean by Nihility's End? Oh, I'm so much more questions. Oh. What, what is this place? Uh, a gigantic black hole. And see. Uh, have I. Have I succeeded? I don't think you have. Oh no. Oh no. She replied, I want to die. The fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can't do that. What? 
Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. But why does she want to die? Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. Well, this is, I guess it's from the poem. That makes sense. Oh, man. Uh... You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. hiding her identity but the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone they have no face no form and even less of a will to speak the nihility envelops everyone equally only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther tainting themselves with more nihility that's all <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. It seems that my death has already been determined. <sighs> Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. Yeah, I think that's what he's trying to do. He wants to create chaos in Penacone. That's why he did this all together to prove everyone like, hey, there's actually death in here. And he made chaos, all right. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering, Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? It's true. No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier and lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. 
If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it oh. has to be someone who cannot speak. Interesting. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Panicone. She's safe and sound? Robin? Hint. Is that not proof? What the fuck? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. I'm speculating this too. Thing that I could be wrong. Prove these conjectures is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. Oh! I see. So I figured there was a spoiler in a way. <laughs> you possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. I thought the devs forgot. No, they probably did it on purpose, really. They did it on purpose because when I used Aquan while in Adventurians, like, Harmony, this buff, it, it happens. The devs never forget. Yeah, they know. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy both are essential. And in your <sighs> plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. Ah. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. Hmm. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. Ah. Oh. And after this, whether you can return from the Abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that... I have nothing. Mm. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. Was he just stuck there then? Oh man. Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? If it's just to die? I don't think this, I never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. 
But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. Okay. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Oh, every time I hear it, see the red tax, it's just, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. Oh, ratio. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. Oh, ratio. Good old ratio. Oh my god. That was really nice of him. <laughs> then I shall get going. Mister, you're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape? Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day, but not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? While preparing to face them, Kakamasha, and to make them proud. Mm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course, for I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> But you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. So cute. I, I, I love the interaction between him and the child. It's really cute. I don't know why. Hi, Spender, present for Aquan Relax. I hear hell yeah, Mimic. Welcome in. <sighs> what do you say? One last time? Oh, that's really cute. I like it. Avengers really like grew in me. Like I really like. I I I like him. I used to not like him at all. I was like, nah, you can have him. But honestly, after seeing everything, ah. Uh... <laughs> Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you, keeping, keeping your, your blood, blood eternally pulsing. pulsing. May, May your journey, journey be forever peaceful, and your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakavasha. That was really cool. I think he will come out. Especially with Ratio helping him too. I think he'll be able to.
With hope for the morrow nestled in my heart, I descend into the slumber off tonight until the denouement of all coming morrows kisses me. I have then embraced the quiet death. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present, and every sinking night by every daring gamble, no vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life knows not quietude. His fate yet determines him to win them all, to weather tempest one after another, till mire and shrouds his very breath. And now, in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once falling die has at last been landed on its earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully, and at last landed. The light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. Hmm. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then... Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. The rafter in the cradle of slumbers, deep within the sweet dream of planet festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. Oh man, that's... Uh, I... In a way, we don't know, maybe he'll like be alive but nothing that we'll ever see possibly but oh god that's so sad oh man i i didn't expect to be emotional a little bit with adventure and i was like yeah do whatever not interested i'm a little emotional with that i'm like wow after everything we've seen like what he went through what his like emotions are like he's honestly he shows a humanistic side of him and it's just ah uh, yeah uh You assume Hoyer will sell a Delicate character? Yeah, they can. Of course they can. I don't know. That's why I'm like waiting a bit. I'm waiting until the ads are over. I'm just gonna talk a bit. They're keeping things vague for the finale. They go hard with characters, that's true. Everything is going to happen, yeah. You never know, yeah. I'm, I'll wait, I'll wait. Yeah, I'm waiting until ads are done. And think of the fall of rainbow! I genuinely think here is just communication cut off. He is walking the hilly with nothing exists. With nothing exists. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. And maybe think of the fall too. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, okay. I have hope. I have plans. I know they're talking like now, like, oh man, eventually died. But with ratio stating like, hey, or giving like him, like some, some sort of like hint, like, hey, you can get out of some kind some other like emergency button or whatever he has i don't know i i i i'm not like i'm not even coping like if Ventrine dies that's still really sad i think Ventrine is is gonna live i think he might live now the fact is if we'll see him live again i don't know you could really die and the sleep well though yeah it's true yeah you can't really die or end the sleep with it yeah it's, it's true but yeah, now, but now, no, yeah, now we know that, like, you can't die. You can't die. Which means, like, oh, shit, a lot of things are happening now. Yeah, I don't trust any death the entire story is over. I honestly thought Firefly died. I didn't think Robin died. We didn't see the death, but... Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. For me, my lore is Archon set him free. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's being to do whatever he wants. It's true, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe he faked his death because of that. Because they're just saying like, oh, we had Akron, or Aventurine died. But yeah. I don't know. I think he's alive. I think I'm coping. Maybe I am, but... A lot of evidence points that he might be... He might live. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Uh, Jade will come every. I know. Jade's so freaking hot. Anyway, sorry. Mm -mm. Try to open your eyes, but find only blackness before you. And whose POV is this? Yeah. Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago. 
Abedrin unleashes the final assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Akron drawing her blade, and then crash. The indescribable force severs the power of preservation. While time and space froze instantly, your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness, until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. Doesn't matter, you get out of here. Oh. You're awake. Oh, I'm high. <laughs> Hi, Sam. <laughs> Jeez. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's you. What have you done? And, yeah, you are? You've met me before. I know. I'm Sam, the Stellaron Hunter. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you, but I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined, and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Ah, the script. Elio script. The script that Elio wrote. Elio ah. was right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. Gains? I will? I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Kafka? Sorry. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. Okay. So, there is only one method that I use. And that's fire. Oh. This is to show you. Uh, huh? All that I am. Labyrinth-like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. Okay, I kind of had a feeling Firefly was Sam because of the wings of the color in the first trailer when they introduced Panacone. Makes sense, but also what the fuck? I, I, uh, it makes sense considering like Firefly's alive. I'm not shocked that Firefly's alive because we now know like, oh, they're alive. But I'm a little shocked still. I, I thought I was like, no, Firefly can't be Sam. There's no way. Like, it doesn't make sense. And then I'm like, oh, I, I guess I'm wrong. Oh, man. Now you know why I was a bit of you. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Oh, God. Hey, anyways, Gallagher, hi. <laughs> let's, let's, let's just go on with this. Let's, just move on. Anyways. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Damn. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. All right, calm down. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often, but I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem is paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. Damn, you tell him, Gallagher. Yeah. Fuck you, Sunday. Anyways. <laughs> you, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Also, Only Monarch, don't tell me, like, glad, if there's, like... A a stray dog in the again, streets. no spoilers. I, I know, like, you're... Like, no spoilers. Okay, even this fake spoiler. Just, just, no. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. 
Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic Abby? tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. A this whole patch, like this whole 2 one patch, this just made me realize like I fucking hate Sunday. I don't hate Sunday. Okay, I hate him. I don't fucking hate him. Like really despise him. But he just sucks. <laughs> he's just, he's just, nah. Don't like him. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Ah. Because my target from the beginning has always been you. How? What? The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your oh. true master pay in blood. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm hmm. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? What? What? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Wait a minute. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good look. <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Woolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits. Okay. From all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. Oh, you didn't say the plot. Okay, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue. <laughs> I'm so lost already. You have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of figured. That was like enough. brothers in arms. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Gallagher? Uh, Gallagher? Um, you okay, Gallagher? Um, hey, remember the live stream where, like, Gallagher wasn't really important? That guy was saying, oh, he wasn't important. Just, like, you know, regular old man. Yeah, he tricked us. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Um. 
Huh. Okay. Now we know. <laughs> She's... What is happening? What the... F <sighs> I... I... Yeah, I don't know. So, okay. So, I have a question with this. So, is the person Gallagher not really a person, per se? Like, it was made up? Is this what... Who is Gallagher? I, that's my first question. Who is Gallagher? Who is it? Yeah, who is he? Is he, like, made of, like, compiled of multiple people? Or just, like... Or do we not even know that? You know why he said he was 13? I thought he did for fun. It's like, ah, oh, I'm 13, haha. When Millie, I think, is 31 or something. I don't know. 13 years of creating identity? Oh. When that pentacle is land of the dreams, they're for a land of lies. Uh, what was he born for? I don't know. Oh, yeah, we may be born for Everthorn Night. Who knows? Uh, for people who may have missed it, the Enigmata has two factions the Riddlers and History Fiction Alders. I don't know. I saw that 13 is also the Tarot Card of Death. Oh. Oh, okay. We don't know yet, but I think he's slowly getting everyone's trust to stay undercover. Wow, he 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 fooled me. He fucking fooled me. Oh man, I thought I was like, ah, oh, he's a cool guy, man. For once, like, this guy doesn't lie or like, you know, he's very chill. And I guess, look and behold, man, I really got bamboozled on that one. Oh man, I'm I'm so shocked by that. Oh god, I. <sighs> and we gotta wait like freaking five weeks or so or four and a half god this is gonna kill me oh my god i really want to know what happens i really really do um i i'm definitely i'm looking so forward to learning more about him uh he's part the backers um it's a platinum player yeah i i don't know He's now he's mysterious. Now I want to know, like, who the freaking heck is he? <gasps> oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm hiccuping. I'm just shocked. I'm shocked. I mean, hey, look, at, hey, Sunday died at least. You know, Sunday, I, I'm not too mad about it. If he dies, you know, that uh, sucks. But also, yeah, it's crazy. So I guess he controls the beam death guy. Ugh. But we know now, though. But now we know that. They're not dead, dead. They're not, they're not dead per se, right? They're just not dead at all. There's been no Fireflies alive and she got stabbed. Unless Firefly was a special case, Robin's alive. But then, what? Yeah, they're going to call and wake up later, yeah. So then, okay. All right, okay then. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious how Sunday is gonna be. I'm very curious i guess it was a little bit of a messed up thing where like they showed the banner of like oh sunday's coming out in the next banner in the twitter account and whatnot and i was like oh is she alive like eh that was kind of annoying but yeah i i guess that's just sam sam is firefly that's crazy to me i i did see a little bit of a spoiler with that too but i also had like connected it first so like oh it has the same colors as firefly that's crazy. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, might be a sick card for Gallagher? Yeah, let me see it. I think I do have his card. Uh, I think I have it on him, actually. If all the clocks are displaying the wrong time, if those bound to promises fulfill their vows through betrayal, if those who sink into the realm of dreams never truly fell asleep, if the dead return to life only to discover their names have been stripped, if, if, he blows out the flame, and in darkness, there is but the eternal ticking of the time piece. Okay, okay. I, I'm so curious with them. Yeah, what is real? What is real? Nice. I'm glad Gallagher has a big story role with this. I'm pretty sure Misha is going to be part of the story too. I still think Misha's the the watchkeeper, but that's another story. Um, 
I'm glad every character has like a big momentous role. Even if Misha isn't so far, but mm -hmm. still. Yeah, what is real? What is real? Would there just be more about Sunday the powers he used on Adventuring? Yeah, I just, I don't know, Harmony. He just, he has a bunch of Harmony's tricks on to his sleeve. I, I don't know. It's crazy to me. Ah. Uh, oh, man. I really don't know. Life of Kagavasha. Cheers to Sweet Dreams and Dreamer obtaining Galaga's special mix. She replied, I want to die. Sit in the bestie and watch a grand finale. Defeat ten, ten stone hearts adventuring. Ah, oh, man. God damn. I have, yeah, I have more questions than answers. I hope the next patch, they'll answer everything. They'll probably, obviously, with Star Rail or Honkai in general, they like to give you, um, they're going to give you like a little cliffhanger. Even that like, the next patch, which is like annoying, but ugh, it teases us. Oh man, I'm I'm so curious about them. I'm so curious. I'm curious like what's gonna happen now that the Sunday died. Ah, uh, oh my god, that's okay, Dragon. I think I'm uh, I'm pretty much done anyway. He's gone. I'm just so, ah, uh, I don't know. All right. Well, I. Uh, oh man, I feel a little sad for adventuring though. That's true. I feel a little sad adventuring. He quote unquote died. Um, we don't know what happened to him, but it's a little sad. Like he actually wanted to technically stage his death and wanted chaos. He did his mission. Um. But yeah, it's I don't know. It's a little uh. Until then, Galaga did nothing wrong. Maybe Robin, like eh, maybe, but I don't know. Next match is two point two, so that should be in the arc three, and two point three is the finale. I thought you said two point three is the 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 epilogue. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Or something. Oh, we don't know honestly. We actually did we know? That would be two point two. Innocent until proven guilty. Same thing, can't write that. No, it's not the same. It's not the same at all. Epilogue's different. Definitely not. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's crazy. Man. Uh, they just say something might get more lofu this year. Oh, I hope not. I don't want the lofu. Uh, you know one thing, Robin's not dead. Robin's not dead, yeah. Robin we know is not dead. So yeah, now that we know like Robin's not dead, Robin's gonna probably come back to life. Or oh, be awake. And then she'll see her dead brother <laughs> and be fucked up. Oh, that's that's rough. Oof. Oh man. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know like why because now we know that they're not quote unquote dead. Why is Gallagher doing this then? What what why like they're gonna come back to life? Like what what's gonna happen? I'm guessing like what's gonna happen during Sunday's coma, possibly Robin's too, is that he'll do something. For Panicone or towards Panicone. Who what who knows? The change that during that time. Yeah, yeah, 13 dark kind of death, yeah. We don't know the full story. We don't know either. God, I I did not expect Gallagher to be an impeccable part of the story. I did not expect that. Oh man. I uh Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've I'm just perplexed again. Star Rail had such a good story. I I love it. I had a great time going through this. I'm so happy. So happy that I'm gone through no more spoilers, first of all. That includes like me seeing a quote unquote spoiler of Firefly and Sam. Um and yeah. It's crazy. Oh man. It's crazy to me. Alright. Uh, I think I'm done. I think I'm done.